Hi folks, this is Don. One of uh, your classmates asked a question about this problem in chapter 5. Chapter 5, if you remember, is about sampling distributions and we cover the uh, central limit theorem, which is very important for everything we do in the course from here on out. And in essence, what the central limit theorem says, that if you are taking a sample from a population that is normally distributed and the sample is large enough then the mean of that sample is equal to the mean of the population and also that the other statistics about that sampling distribution which that's what we call the sample that we take are also related to the uh, population parameters. In this case, we're talking about a population proportion. We're told that 73% of all female heart transplants will survive at least three years. So when we're talking about population proportion, we use the, the symbol P uh, for the proportion. So P is equal to 0.73, converting that to a decimal. It says that we sampled 80 female heart transplant patients. They were randomly selected, which is key. And we're told that the sampling distribution of sample proportions, again, we're taking a population, so we're talking about the distribution of the sample proportions, they will also be a normal distribution. And they give us two things that we, sh you know, talked about from the central limit, that the mean of the sample proportion is equal to the population proportion, and the standard deviation of the sample distribution is equal to this equation, the square root of the population proportion times one minus the population proportion divided by the square root of n. So let's solve this using Excel and in particular PHSTAT. Okay, I've opened up Excel and what I like to do when I'm uh, working on homework problems is to create an Excel notebook. And I do this whether or not I'm using my uh, TI calculator or the StatCrunch or using Excel itself and I like to take screenshots using any of a number of free uh, utilities and then paste those screenshots into a, a, a spreadsheet in my workbook. And then I will set up a, a little table. Blue indicates information I'm given. Yellow indicates information that I will calculate. And in this case, we're given the population proportion of 0.73, we're given an N for a sample of 80. And we know that Q is equal to 1 minus P, and I just set that up as an equation in Excel. So when I input the P, I get automatically the Q. And we know that the, the mean of the sampling distribution, in this case of the sample proportions, P hat, is just equal to the population proportion P. So uh, that gives me uh, 0.73 and I just set this cell equal to P. The standard deviation sigma sub P hat of the uh, sample proportion P hat is equal to the square root, and they give us this equation, of PQ divided by N. And so I just put that formula into Excel equal to square root of P times Q divided by N, and that gives me a sigma sub P hat of 0 0.049636. I would encourage you when you're doing these preliminary calculations to always keep as many decimal places as possible. Uh, that will help you get closer to the the uh, answer that your textbook has. And I might point out in this particular problem, uh, although it's stated that the correct answer is 0 0.0537, uh, 
it accepted 0.0537 plus or minus 0 0.0001, which would be 0.0539 to 0 0.05, I'm sorry, 38 to 0.0536. And it also accepted 0 0.0535 plus or minus 0 0.0001. And that is in recognition of the differences that you get from some tables and some uh, software and calculators. So it recognizes that. Uh, but always keep as many uh, decimal places as you can. So now we've got this set up in uh, Excel. I'm going to use PHStat. I click on the Add-ins tab. There's my PHStat. Get my drop down. And we're talking about probability and probability distributions. And I'm going to select Normal. And we get this dialog box. We need to put in our mean, which is 0.73. And we need to put in our standard deviation. And I'm going to type that in, 0 0.0. You could copy and paste it, 49636. And we want our probability for x less than or equal to 0.65. That was the question they had there. What's the probability of a sample proportion for at least three years will be less than 65%. And in this dialog box for a pH stat, you can get a number of different probabilities. We don't need them all this time, but just be aware of that. It's very much like the stat crunch uh, calculator that you can solve for all these values. So I'm just going to click OK. And we're given a new tab in our spreadsheet. And we're given, again, the data that we input, the mean, the standard deviation. It calls it x. Again, uh, x can stand for a z value for an, an actual individual x, or in this case, the uh, sample proportion p hat. And we get calculates our z value for us and gives us a probability of 0 0.0535. And we go back. You see that is the answer, one of the answers that my stat lab was expecting. So I hope this helps.